Okay, so let's go back to the complexity problem. See, I, I actually think it's the, in some sense, it's the fundamental problem. When, when you read about the terror management theorist types, they think that death is the fundamental problem. And that's a good argument, because it's definitely a fundamental problem, but I think it's a subset of the complexity problem. And, and the reason I think that is because sometimes people's lives become so complex that they'd rather be dead. So, and the reason they seek death when, through suicide is to make the complexity go away. Because complexity causes suffering if it's uncontrolled. You know, things just get beyond your control. Um, and that can happen, you know, if you're hit by three or four catastrophes at the same time. You know, maybe you have, if, oh, the political system collapses, there's hyperinflation, you lose your job and you have someone that you love or two people die and maybe you get cancer, something like that. Like that, those things happen to people and they just think, well, there's no getting out of this. Like, it's just too much. And you know, one of the things that's very interesting about being a psychologist is that what you learn if you're going to be a psychologist is that people come to you with mental illnesses. And that's almost never true. People come to you because their lives are so damn complicated, they cannot stay on top of them in any way that doesn't make it look like they're just going to get more complicated. And so then that causes symptoms, you know, it's like, there's this old idea, it's sort of a metaphor for genetic susceptibility. Take a balloon and blow it up until it's beyond its tolerance, it's going to blow out at the weakest point. Well, that's sort of what a genetic susceptibility is. If I just keep adding complexity on top of you, at some point you'll blow out at your weakest point. You know, maybe you'll get physiologically ill, maybe you'll start drinking, maybe you'll develop an anxiety disorder, maybe you'll get OCD, maybe you'll get depressed, whatever. There'll be something about you that's the weakest point, and if I just push, that's where you'll blow out. So, that's a mental illness, but those things almost never just happen. Sometimes, but not very often. Usually people have just been hammered like two or three different ways, and then they collapse in the direction of their biological weakness, and then maybe you put them back together, but it's almost always a complexity related phenomena rather than a mental illness related phenomena not always but almost always <laughs>